So now that we know what an if statement is, we're going to use basically the other half of that, which is called else. And what else allows you to do is say, you know, if the code in the first part of the if statement is not run, then we're going to run another block of code instead. So I'm going to show you how this works in Python. And I'm going to work with the program that we've been working with for the last few videos now. And I'm just going to say else, make sure it's not indented this time, because if it was indented, it would still be considered part of this uh, initial sort of block of code in the first part of the if statement. But the else block is where we want to put the block of code that we want to run. If this first line is not run, then we're going to run this else statement. And what I've just put here is the formula for females, because what we're saying here, if this person is a male, then we're going to use the male formula. Otherwise, we're going to run the female formula. Because there's really one of two options here. It can't be both. Which is why if else is a perfect fit for this, because we only want to use one or the other. We always want to use one of them, and we never want to use neither of them. And that's good because an if else statement is always going to run some code, uh, depending on whether that initial sort of comparison, which is here, is true or false. So let's go ahead and run that and see if it works like we intended to. So remember we've put is male equal to false, so what we're expecting is that it's going to run this line. So I'm going to use the test data that I've used in the last few videos, and the output to this was 1997 calories uh, per day. So if we press enter, we now get 1691. And that's good because what we'd expect is that a female would burn less calories uh, throughout the day. They tend to need to eat slightly less to maintain their body weight, as well as, uh, you know, burn less in general. They tend to have a slightly lower metabolism, um, amongst other reasons. So that is, you know, a reasonable value. That's something that we would expect. And so that's actually now working perfectly as we'd intended. But this is still sort of bugging me a bit because we can't choose as the user whether we're male or female. And that's bad because the program just sets it to false every time. Which means that it assumes that every user that uses this program is always going to be female. Which isn't good. We want to say that... Um, so first we want to make it a bool because it's a boolean value. So it's true or false. And then in that we're going to put the input um, and we can say enter true or false. In fact, let's say that's a really bad way of saying it, actually. Let's say are you male? Because that's a yes or no answer. Um, and then we can just do yes or no. Now let's try that, see what happens. Are you male? Let's say yes. Right, so that works really easily now. So um, now we actually choose which formula we're using in the program based on the user's input. And that's really good because it makes it really, really dynamic, uh, or at least more than it was. And that's really, really important because it allows our program to be, you know, much more useful. Now now we can target both male and female users and they can both work out the value that is relevant to them based on the information they've put in. So that's a really good sort of start now. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about LF statements, which is, again, sort of the next step with if and else. Um, it's short for else if. So I'm going to discuss that more in more detail in the next video.